Okay, welcome back. Now, I think the last example wasn't very clear. Uh, I'm going to use another example here. Now, I want to find the dimension that is identified by the question mark. What is this dimension? Uh? How are we going to combine two dimensions now? Now, you know that this time I'm not going to add them. I'm going to subtract them. Uh, and I'm going to explain to you the approach thereafter. Uh, first, let me go back to the table, how we draw the table. Uh. Again, uh, I'm going to draw the table here. This time, I'm not going to put A and B. I'm just put the dimension involved. Dimension. And I'm going to draw a line for the upper dimension, the second dimension, and the final one will be the bottom. So this dimension I have is 38 plus 0 0.010. Oh, sorry, sorry. 0 0.10 minus 0 0.15. The other one is 5 plus 0 0.10 minus 0 0.05. So the next level is the limit. So the upper limit of this will be 38. Point one and the lower limit will be 38 minus 0 0.15 again 37.85 similarly I will have 5.1 here and 4.95 the next line is where we're going to do the normalization huh? We can normalize dimension, so we will have to combine this and this. So it is the average of this 38.1 plus 37.85 divided by 2. Plus and minus. The other, next one will be the subtract. Uh, 0.1 minus 37.85 again divided by 2. The first one is the nominal dimension. The second one is the bilateral, symmetrical bilateral tolerance. Here again, I do the same thing similarly. And Combining that here, I will have 37.975 plus and minus 0 0.125 and this will be 5. Now I now need to know whether I should plus or minus them. The approach is this. Huh? Just spell it. I'm going to start from here. I'm going to start from here. You see, I want to know the gap, so I'm going to start from here. Start. So, if going up will be positive. Huh? So, this is coming down here. So, this dimension will be negative. And then, this is going up. So, this dimension is positive. So, in other words, I will say this is positive. And this is negative. So when I combine them, I will have 32.95. This is only valid for the nominal dimension. Nah? For the torrents plus and minus, there's no direction. Nah? So we just add them up. 0 0.2. We will be repeating the approach here again and again. Nah? As the question gets more and more complicated. Thank you.